questions to ask for a campaign with the confidence rising. I told WDF don't switch, good times are coming on EFD diving. Fan cams, reactions, watch along, still the pride of London thriving. The Eagles of South they flying, keep your eyes on us, we ain't hiding. Yes guys, welcome back to Eagle Eyed Football. This is going to be the Chelsea away match vlog. Uh, I'm already ready to brave the rain, brave the wind and hopefully brave out a good result for Crystal Palace. Not looking forward to it. As I said, I take a draw before balls even kicked. But you know how it is with Palace, man. They've been playing rubbish, so you know what's going to happen. They're going to pull out a blinder today. But it is what it is. Follow us along for the journey. Up the palace. Just done a runner for the tram. Uh, it's my fault. Missed the first one because this brother was, what, five minutes late? Ten minutes late? Five. Like. 20 minutes late. <laughs> Walk up to the tram stop. Said, ah, oh, next one's in 20 minutes. One of the trams turned around and comes straight back. <laughs> one minute. Incredible timing. This guy got let off. Yeah, I felt mad guilty. <laughs> But yeah, Chairman, thoughts on the run? <laughs> well, I, I, I'm nearly 60 and getting down here before you two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I'd done pretty well, really. No, good, we, we... So good pace, I stretched my leg and showed me class. <laughs> Play him instead of Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think is going to happen in this game? I think it'll be the same team as, as uh, last week, to be honest with you. I think he'll bring Stupin to somewhere. Um, I, he won't go attacking and he won't see Francia and he won't see uh, Hamada. Um, I think it'll just be the same, virtually the same team. Interesting what he does in midfield because I thought Hughes was pretty bang average last week. So I think he might drop Hughes and bring Stupin back in for a little bit more pace and strength but yeah it's not after 12 straight defeats I'm not looking confident today at all for me I expect us to lose today but getting a result of Brentford is massively important if we can get a draw today it's a bonus but um, obviously haven't seen the team yet but I'm not it'd be a shock if he does anything other than what we think he's going to do so but we're going anyway so the, the thing with Patrick is we don't get better do we it'll be like a no, we don't get better. We, we, we'll lose. It'll be 1 0, 2 1, something like that. If we get a 1 0 draw, but we have been twice and seen us win 2 1. And if that happens again, I'll be very, very happy. It'll make the trip, tonight's trip worth it anyway. But I'm going to be, I'm going to say 1 0, and I'll be, and that's with a lot of, lot of fingers crossing, that is. Well, Chair, Chairman says we're not going to get battered, Rich. What do you think? Um, it'll be interesting to see what the lineup is. Um, Obviously, against uh, Brighton, I, I said that it was too defensive, and they did a good showing for like 45 minutes. But once you have defensive players on the pitch, you'll have a defensive mindset, and that's what happened second half. So hopefully, we will will change something to just be a bit more positive in this game, whether it's just playing a bit higher up the pitch. Because obviously, with Chelsea uh, missing, I think they're two best players this season, and um, that should hopefully give us a bit more confidence to to go forward. Um, Personally, I would go Lerma. I'll put, I would go Ozo and either Eze or Schlupp, depending on Eze's fitness. If he isn't going to start Ozo, I will stick with Richards. I don't think Hughes should should start. And like I said, keep either in the ten either Schlupp or Eze. If Eze's not 100 percent fit, Schlupp. If he if he's at least 70, just play him. I think we need to get something out of this game. One one. I see it going badly. I'm not going to lie to you. In my in my score prediction, I said one nil Chelsea because that's exactly what I think is going to happen. I feel like Chelsea haven't been fully on it lately, but you know, you know what's going to happen. The one game that we play against them, they're going to be absolutely incredible. He said that we're not going to get smashed. So no, even so though yeah, yeah, even, so I think in this game we're going to we're going to lose five nil now. 
Like, I'm not confident at all. I think if, if something's going to happen in this game, it's all got to be done in the lineup before the game's even happening. As I said in the preview, I'll take a 1 1 before or a draw, whatever, before a ball's even kicked. However, I think Ozo has to start. He, didn't, he hasn't looked out of place against City and Brighton, who are probably two of the best and most informed teams in the country right now. I think that Hughes needs to be dropped no matter what. I want the midfield three to be Ozo, Lerma and Eze, but that's only depending on if Eze is fully fit, because he looked proper off it in the last game. And, you know, he, he cost us that game. He cost us three points there. Um, that might be a bit harsh to some people, but I think it's the truth. If he um, was a bit fitter and... You know, he probably could have won that for us, but I want to see Ozo play. I think that's the main one for me. I think the back line picks itself, the front line picks itself. JP's been playing well, and you know what? I think with how bad Yashile and how Thiago Silva isn't the fastest, those are probably our main um, areas to attack. Also, they have got a sub goalkeeper in, so we just need to shoot. We don't shoot at all, so why not shoot? We want Sanchez back. <laughs> we want Sanchez back but as I said score prediction I'm going 1-0 Chelsea I'm not confident but I'm just here for a good time and I hope I see Ozo play and hopefully maybe a little bit of France as well Dan thoughts on the walk thoughts on the walk yeah what, from where to where here to there yeah. Although I've only done it once, so I can't really remember it, to be honest. It was waved. <laughs> Eagle Eye Football here. We are standing outside Fulham Broadway. As you can see, all the concrete everywhere is a shithole. Um, team is out. Uh, in goal, we've got Sam, uh, not Sam Johnstone. Shit, man. Hendinho is in goal. With Klein, Anderson, Gay, Mitchell. With Richards, Lerma and Eze in midfield, which is good. Eze is fit. Do you think he's fully fit? But we'll see when it gets there. Elise... Ayu and JP up top. On the bench, we've got Matthews, Tomkins, Teo, Riedervald, Ozo, Hughes, Schlapp, Ahamada, and Matthias Franza. Happy with the lineup. A lot different to what we have seen, and it's actually quite forward thinking. Rich, what do you think? Yeah, I can't complain. I mean, obviously, just positionally wise, Chris Richards is the only one that's out of position. Could have been Ozo, but the fact that Eze's back in there, I'm, I'm really happy. And playing in the 10 and not on the left hand side, especially if he's not fully fit. But it's an attacking lineup. It's the second time we see Eze and Elise in a match. Hopefully, they can last 45, more than 45 minutes. Let's hope one don't get injured. <laughs> Dan, what are you saying? Yeah, no, I said uh, I, I agree. I think there isn't a much stronger team that he could have really put out. Um, and I think, um, yeah, I think it's the strongest team he can put out. Again, uh, it's good to see Eze and Elise together. Hopefully, Eze doesn't kick it across the field to an opponent so they can score again. Um, and yeah, up the Palace. Shade has been thrown. Chairman, what do you think about the lineup? I'm excited. I Don't lie. It. I'm excited. I can, as and Elise, I just hope he's fit and then we can run at him and then we, we'll do okay. We'll get a one all draw. Yeah, cool. Let's make our way back into the stadium.
half time. Crystal Palace won. Chelsea won. I tell you what, how they scored was a bit of a dodgy one because two things went against us. A Klein slip, the ball rebounded straight to them. Mudrick slotted in an easy goal. However, first 10, 15 minutes we were all over them. Actually a very good, very, very, very good half. I'm very happy with how we're playing. We're looking dangerous when we're going forwards. Eze is still looking a bit lazy here and there. Richards is looking a bit iffy. However, he's making big tackles. That's why he's there. And I'll tell you what, we're still pushing. And great finish from Michael Elise. Ties it up 1-1 in the 47th minute. We're looking good. We don't, deserve to, we don't deserve to be down. Definitely a very even half. But I'm very happy with our performance so far. I'm looking forward to the second half. Maybe Ozo comes on for Richards a little bit later. But we are definitely looking a lot more attacking, and that's exactly what we needed from Roy Hodgson. Very happy with that half. Rich, your thoughts? We, we, came, into this, we came into this game just asking for bravery. Show a bit of passion, just be brave about it. As I announced, so I decided to start talking now. But first 10, 15 minutes, we were superb. We were right at them. Um, they had no idea what they what to do. Um, and obviously, they did have a few chances uh, on the break. And it was, I think that played on our mind because they've got a lot of pace going forward. You know, um, Matson could have scored. I think it was um, Mudrick had a chance. Uh, good save from Henderson. And obviously, they, they scored a goal. Unfortunate client slips. I hope he changed his boots in, uh, for the second half. We can't have a... They're still pink or no? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Um, but we, didn't, we went into a shell. You know, it's the case where we just passed it left to right. There was no attacking intent. Richards was struggling. You can see the deficiencies with Richard playing in DM then. Because when he plays in DM, defensively he's good, but he doesn't know. He can never pick up the ball. You know, so we're effectively playing with 10 men on an attack in front. However, a massive tackle towards the end of the half, which um, led to Ayu crossing it in for Elise, a great finish. Um, we would have been, it would have been harsh if we had gone down at the half, 1-0 down. We are level, we just need to keep at it. I, I, we can win this game. We can win this game. Dan, thoughts on the game? Um, I think it was quite a... Um, oh. I think it was quite a... Um, quite a tight first half I thought um, both teams were relatively even I think Chelsea probably made better chances than we did on the balance of things um, I think the problem our problem this half has been the middle progression I think as much as I like Richards I think when he gets the ball he doesn't really know what to do with it and he doesn't make himself as available as like Sheik Decore does uh, having said that he won the tackle that uh, put us on the front foot for the goal so fair play to him for that. If we can win the ball higher up more, uh, and he's a part of that, then then great. Otherwise, I'd probably bring on Hughes or Ozo, if I'm to be honest, because that central progression is really poor. And then put, um, so put, uh, that referee in his... Oh, yeah. I mean, the worst one was uh, when Anson got um, got pushed in the corner by us. Like, you could literally see it from here. He got pushed, and the ref didn't, didn't blow the whistle. So... I mean, the thing is, though, you come to expect these kind of things when you're away at um, a big six side, so, you know. But, yeah, that's, that's it. Up the Palace. Chairman? Yeah, it's quite... I mean, it's a funny game, really, because I thought we started off really well, probably scored against the run of play. I thought we felt sorry for ourselves a bit, but we hung in there. I mean, I'm, I mean, Chelsea might have had two first possession, but they haven't looked here. We, we, we're quite comfortable, really, except for two instances. But... Um, I mean, you know, had a lot of great possessions outside the box. The final ball's been a bit poor, except for the goal, which was excellent, you know. And Michael Lee's on the back post, completely unmarked. I mean, where's the Chelsea defenders? But they, the defence looks a bit shaky. I think we can just up our crossing ability, get a bit better. We will actually do better in the second half. But, no, I'm happy. I'm happy to win the game. I'm happy it's one all at half time. So, come on, Paddy. Better second half. Yes, guys, we just got back uh, off the tram after the game finished Chelsea 2, Palace 1 and you know there's definitely a few takes to take away from this game man I think that the performance was good it's just that the result wasn't quite what we needed um, certain times in that game where I think that certain players let us down I think that Eze was a little bit too selfish today and you know there's a few others as well but I'm sure you guys will talk about it as well but we just need to start getting points now the performance is good what happened was good just that we need to start seeing out some games now. I think that a lot of things went against us. Uh, the ref, 
definitely went against us. I think the penalty, looking back on it, you know, it probably was a penalty, but, you know, is it clear and obvious that you should that you should have overturned it? Probably not. Hod Hodgson's press conference saying that, you know, he's right. He's saying that the ref isn't ref by the guy on the pitch. It's ref by someone completely different who's sitting in an office somewhere. But, you know, it's just frustrating, man. Um, we're really looking forward to these Brent this Brentford game and this is probably our biggest game of the season because I think if we if we don't win or if we don't even get a point in this game or have a good performance there's got to be lots of questions asked and we're not looking in a very good position in the league right now we need to make signings in January and something needs to change we need to start getting points Rich what's your thoughts on the game? I'm numb I'm, I'm, I'm numb to it all at the moment um, and you know what I definitely agree. We we played well. We played well today. A uh, bit indecisive in the final third. An area we could have definitely improved in. Um, but it's just a, a lack of in-game management from Ray. You see Chelsea make two double changes to, to obviously change things in their favour. And we just don't react to it at all. Um, I, I know uh, there's rumours saying that Ayu was tired. I don't care how tired he is. He's our best player when it comes to just killing the clock, you know, if, if you're going to take off anyone, take off Eze. And the disrespect to be putting on France on like in the 93rd minute or so, and fair play to be, he nearly fashioned a chance for himself. You know, I, I've even gone to the point and I was thinking about it, like, all right, Lopetegui wants money, which is going to be something that we probably won't offer him. But if we can offer him a massive bumper-like contract, just get him in. Well, same for Potter, just get him in. It may mean that we may miss out on a, a transfer, which we need, but I'm just so done with Roy, to be honest. You know, but it's like six, six or seven times we scored, yeah. conceded the goals in the night, 80th minute plus. Most of them are from like 84 minute One onwards. One win in 12. One win in 12. Three points above the so got six. Um, and bear in mind, we'll get a game in hand as well, which will obviously be the one against Bournemouth, which they've got to replay. Yes, it's not good. Um, yeah, it's about today's game. I thought we played well. I thought we more than held our own. We deserved the draw. Just two two bits in the game, wasn't there? Klein slipped for the first goal, and the penalty. The problem is, is that as they didn't have to make the challenge, and you make a challenge in the box, you're asking for trouble, aren't they? He didn't have to make a challenge. There was nothing in the box push him away. But generally, I think our biggest problem today was in the final third in their box. We had probably had three or four fantastic chances. One time it was three against three Palace players and one Chelsea player and we still didn't get a shot away. It's that, that decision making when we get into the end of the box, you know, from Schlupp, um, Eze and are you getting really selfish, you know, when he had players he could have laid it off easily to, but he didn't. Trying to take the last player on, sometimes you've got to play the simple ball, drive it across the box, box and over the best. But we played well today, we deserved the draw, just didn't get the luck really, but um, you know, we're getting to that stage now where you're right, good performances don't mean nothing now, do they? We do need to get points on the board. Mm. Saturday is going to be a monster game it's now. We have win. to get we have to get something out of it. But yeah, unlucky today, we play very well, but just one of the things. Yes, guys, and that is it for this match day vlog. So, you know, we'll see you in the in the review if we're doing one. Probably not, but you know, we're looking forward to this Brentford game, but the caption is title. We need points. Who cares about results? We need points. Anyway, up the palace.